Welcome to part two of our tutorial on analog circuit simulation using the Circuit Logic Simulation Software Package from Logic Design. In this animation, we'll examine the steps required to perform an AC frequency analysis on an analog circuit. We'll also cover plotting frequency response. The circuit we'll be performing an AC analysis on is a multiple feedback bandpass filter. One of the appealing qualities of this topology is that you can modify the mid-frequency value without affecting gain or bandwidth. Changing the value of R3 will shift the midpoint frequency for this filter design. Our design requirements for this bandpass filter is that the filter have a gain of 2, is relatively selective with a filter quality of 10, and has a midpoint frequency of 1 kHz. Using the starting point assumption of a filter capacitor with a 100 nanofarad value, here are the calculations required for the resistor values R1, R2, and R3 in this filter circuit. One of the largest benefits of a simulation tool is that it allows you to verify a design. We'll now take a moment to ensure that this circuit functions the way it was intended. In part one of the analog circuit simulation tutorials, we learned how to set up, run, and display a transient analysis. This allows us to verify the desired gain. We'll now move on and set up an AC frequency analysis to verify the midpoint frequency and frequency response of the filter circuit. We click on the options menu and select the analog analysis item to bring up the analog analysis dialog box. We begin by disabling the transient analysis and enabling the AC analysis. This is accomplished via the enable checkboxes. Next, we enter the start frequency and stop frequency, which define the frequency sweep range. We're going to sweep a range from 1 Hz to 100 kHz for this example. In general, we want the test point value to be approximately 5000. When the sweep type is set to linear, we enter the number directly 5000. That will be the number of test points in the given frequency range. If the sweep type is set to decade or octave, the specified number of test points per decade or per octave are provided. In general, a greater number of test points means a slower simulation. Now that our AC sweep analysis options have been selected and set, we click on the toggle switch to run the simulation. We click on the graph properties button in the upper left hand corner of the grapher window to set up the grid and scaling for the AC sweep. In addition to our settings to show division values and the wave grid, it is often advantageous when running an AC frequency analysis to have the x-axis set to a logarithmic scale. In order to plot the results of our AC frequency analysis, we click on the desired output location. The plotted data represents the frequency response of the circuit between the AC source and the selected output point. We can click and hold the mouse button and then drag the mouse to create a selection box. This allows us to zoom in on any area of interest in the grapher window. Notice that we've now zoomed into an area on the x-axis that ranges from 100 Hz to 10 kHz. If we return to the Analysis Setup dialog box, we can select both transient and AC analysis and run them concurrently. Notice that each grapher window can be resized or moved around the workspace. In this simulation, we've created a duplicate of the circuit and used standard resistor values. These resistors are plus or minus 10% precision. This approach allows us to compare the frequency response of the original circuit with a version that uses plus or minus 10% resistors. As has been illustrated, running an AC frequency analysis on an analog circuit is simple and easy using the Circuit Logic Simulation Software Package. For more information regarding the Circuit Logic Simulation Software Package, contact Logic Design Inc. at the email address, toll free telephone number, or website shown here.